Okay, I'm going to give you a real quick way how to remove unwanted objects in an image. We start with the background layer. From here, I'm going to press Control J on a PC or Command J to duplicate that layer. Select the Rectangle Marquee tool. Now from here within the image, I want to select a piece of the image that, that I want to duplicate. Once I select it, I'm going to press Control J again on a PC, Command J on a Mac to duplicate just that selection. From the Edit menu, click on Transform, and then we're going to flip it horizontal. Once I flip it horizontal, select the Move tool, click and drag the image or the, the new section into the area that you want to duplicate. Now, notice I have the default color set to black and white. When I click on the Add Layer Mask icon, it filled it with white. What we want to do is fill it with black. So from here, on a, again, on a PC, we're going to press uh, Alt Backspace or Option Backspace on a Mac. Now, if you notice, it looks like nothing was changed, but in reality what just happened was we filled that layer mask with black, so it's hiding the effect. Click on the brush tool and make sure your color is set to white. From here, we are just paint in the areas that we want. So in this case, I'm using a Wacom tablet only because it's easier to paint with a paintbrush. You could do it with a mouse, but again, I strongly suggest using a Wacom tablet. From here, I just want to continue to go through, get rid of this big lens flare, and be careful when you're going when you're coming around the object of the person. We want to make sure that we don't make a mistake and cut into them. If we do, it's not a big deal, like this for example, just change your color from white to black and then paint out the effect that you made a mistake on. Good. And again, select white. Now this is up to you. You can keep the shadows here or you can, you can paint over it and bring back the shadows that are on the opposite side. Again, it's an artistic thing that you have to decide on. Here we go. Now, once I have that set, what I want to do now is do the same thing to the opposite side of the image. But before I do that, I'm going to hold down the control key and press E on a PC, Command E on a Mac, and that's going to flatten my top layer to my second layer. Now, we're going to select the marquee tool, click on the left hand side and draw a selection. Once again, we're going to duplicate that selection onto a new layer. So Control J on a PC, Command J on a Mac. Click Edit, Transform, and we're going to flip it horizontal. Select your Move tool again, and we're just going to slide the new selection over the object we want to remove. Now, click on the layer mask icon on the bottom. Notice it's filled with white. We have to fill that with black. So from here, on a PC, we're going to press Alt Backspace. On a Mac, it's going to be Option Backspace. Change the color from black to white. Select your brush, and then, like we did on the opposite side, I'm just going to paint out the area that I don't want in the image. Now it's up to you again, we could continue and just go up just a touch, but you could decide how much you want in or how much you want out. Once we have it set, Control E on a PC, Command E on a Mac to merge the top layer down with the bottom layer. So. This is what we started with, and by that quick edit, we ended up with removing the un 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 unwanted objects. From here, we can further enhance this, and our final image can be more of a rustic look that kind of goes with the actual photo.